Hello, everyone. I'm very happy that uh, my film, my documentary, Regina, which I made years ago, will be screened again uh, at uh, screened again at uh, Berlin Jewish Film Festival, which is actually my one of my favorite film festival. Um, my documentary is telling the story the first woman rabbis of the world who was actually born in Berlin at the turn of 19th century. And her name was Regina Jonas. Uh, you should ask why I wanted to make uh, a film about the world's first female rabbi. Actually, I tell you the secret, uh, many, many years ago, I originally didn't want, did, was not interested in this topic. Uh, how I got to this story, it was very interesting. Uh, 15 years ago, when I finished my first feature film, A Miracle in Krakow, which had also a, a Jewish uh, topic, and it was at the Amsterdam, it was uh, screened at uh, Amsterdam Jewish Film Festival. I met uh, Eliza Klapek, uh, a rabbi from that time from Amsterdam. And she recommended uh, the story of Regina Jonas to be filmed. Until that time, I had no, I had no idea that uh, Regina Jonas existed. And uh, Eliza Klopek, who is actually also the author of the book, uh, the biographical book of Regina Jonas, uh, recommended her work. I read the book, and I was really amazed that. Uh, once upon a time in Berlin, a uh, fantastic, extraordinary, and brave woman practiced as a rabbi, uh, challenging all difficulties, and in the most difficult uh, time uh, during the Shoah, during the Holocaust, during the Second World War. World War. So I decided to make a movie in 2007 about her life and it was a long 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 way it took me seven years i finished the production in 2013 and uh, what was the biggest challenge is that i had only one single photograph of my protagonist regina jonas which was made the photo was made in 1935 exactly in the time of the nuremberg laws we know so the challenge was how can I make a, move, a, a documentary uh, or actually a film based on one single photograph, one, uh, one visual material. Uh, the secret was uh, that I had even this only one photograph, the Regina Jonas, who, who perished in Auschwitz uh, before her deportation. Uh, from Berlin to Theresienstadt in 1942, she decided to collect all her letters and correspondence uh, package and uh, take it to the Jewish community, to the Centrum Judaicum in Berlin, and ask them to preserve uh, this correspondence package. Uh, I think she had the hope she would return, but I, I also do think that uh, in her mind could, have, could, could be that uh, in case she would never return, there would be a place, the basement, in the basement, that uh, her documents could survive the Shoah, and these documents could, uh, could somehow justify that once upon a time she ever existed. What is really interesting about her story, uh, so just back to the point, I could use these correspondences and the letters written to her, and I built my documentary based on these uh, on this, uh, personal letters she had received. And uh, I could build a character few, through the point of view of, uh, of, her, of her followers, of her uh, uh, from of her communities, of her students. 
it's a, it's a question, you know, uh, many, many times they, they ask me uh, if I was interested in if she was the first woman rabbi. I, I already mentioned at the beginning of, uh, of this short interview that uh, uh, for me the question was, was not that she was the first, it's, it was not the point. The point is that she was, uh, she was so brave, she decided to stay in Berlin and she decided to help those who had no chance to leave uh, Germany in the worst time where the chance of the surviving was minimal. And uh, she decided to stay with her community and to help those who, who needed the help most. The other thing is that actually she was, she was fighting for years uh, for the original paper of, uh, for the diploma uh, that recognized uh, her ordination. Uh, this film shows that it's not the paper that makes somebody, it's not a diploma or a, a simple paper that makes somebody a rabbi or a religious leader. You, you have to be born for that, uh, for that position. And I really do think that uh, Regina Jonas was born uh, as, a, as a rabbi, as a religious leader, regardless actually where you are coming from. What is really interesting, she was orthodox, she was, and she wanted to practice as a, as a woman rabbi, and she didn't care if, she, if someone had uh, full Jewish origins or just uh, Michelings, you know, she had everyone who, who asked her help. So, so this is what I can say. Uh, this movie was uh, is built on on only on archive footages. Uh, the research uh, took me six, five, six years to to find out how can I make a movie where my when my protagonist can appear actually through only one photograph, but my intention was uh, to make this movie, to make uh, fear the audience if Regina Jonas, the first woman rabbi of the world, let's say, uh, originally from Berlin, could be also on every single uh, scene on the, on the screen. So I really hope that you will enjoy this this movie i'm very proud i could finish uh, this production with the help of uh, of uh, george weiss who was actually uh, the father of uh, rachel weiss and uh, he helped us to 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 finish this this movie unfortunately he passed a few months ago he passed away a few months ago, uh, but uh, but without him, this production could couldn't come uh, alive. The other thing I wanted to mention that we made a free version of this documentary, language version, an English version, a German version, and a Hungarian version, and uh, I'm very glad that Martina Gede could borrow us her voice, voiceover for the German version as Regina Jonas. And uh, we, are, we are very ha happy, ha happy and proud uh, to have her in this production. So thank you for your attention and uh, I really hope you will, you will enjoy this movie and I really hope that it will it will help you uh, just to think that there is a minute for surviving. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy the film.